Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. Today I am so excited to share with you some of the updates that Google introduced for its online education tools. These developments have been accelerated by the pandemic and as we all know, they have rebranded their G Suite for Education and now it is called the Google Workspace for Education. So these updates were actually presented during the Learning with Google session last February 18 in the Asia Pacific, wherein we heard the leaders of Google and some of the stories of educators as we reimagine teaching and learning in the new normal. So let us start with the Chromebook. So what is a Chromebook? Chromebook is basically a budget-friendly alternative to a Windows laptop or MacBook. It run on the Google operating system or the Chrome OS, which means that Windows and Mac OS programs don't work on these devices. So here are some of the updates in the Google Chromebook. So these updates includes taking better screenshots, screen recording, even live caption, translation, and accessibility to some videos and a telestrator wherein you can annotate and write there on your screen. Now, I think that this next update, specifically in Google Classroom, is what everybody is excited about because everybody now are in Google Classroom as their LMS. So here are some of the updates in the Google Classroom. So the classroom will now gain support for rich text formatting like bold, italics, underline, and even adding bullets across web, maybe iOS and Android. And they have your offline support, some add-ons for classroom, um, improved photo submissions, engagement tracking, um, improved mobile grading. Um, SIS roster sync and improve meet integration. I think that these um, updates will help teachers to be more engaging and to track more the progress of their students. Now let us take a look at some of the updates for Google Drive. So you can save form draft responses, some of the revision history in Jamboard, target audiences and, and document approvals. I don't know about you, but I have had a lot of problems with form and Jamboard, but with this update, I think it will be able to save and help our students um, work on their um, activities or quizzes um, using these platforms. And of course, the updates for Google Meet. So it includes multiple meeting moderators, virtual meeting rosters, scheduled breakout rooms, improved classroom management controls. This is what I am excited about because I think they're rolling out over the next few weeks um, like this one, the mute all button to give control of the classroom back to teachers. And um, it gives moderation controls. I hope that this will roll out soon. And I'm excited about the mic lock as well and some of the new reactions that is um, also present in Zoom. So Google Meet is adding engagement and inclusivity features for students as well. So... I am so excited about these updates. The company plans several updates for its Google Workspace for Education, and I think that they have thought about their their main market, which are the teachers and also the students and also the parents, which um, allows all of us to better um, prepare and better teach in this new normal scenario. So. What are you excited about, guys? Um, which feature are you excited about this? Please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope that we all see um, these updates and we'll be able to maximize these updates soon. That's it for now for this channel. Thank you for dropping by. I hope that you will subscribe. And see you in my next video. Bye!